Ladies and gentlemen, today is April 17th, 2013. And uh, if you're listening to the news at all, if you're following any of this, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the most dangerous time in American history since the Kennedy assassination. Uh, there are some situations going on right now that you need to know about. And um, there are people out there that are putting this together. I'm not the only one. But we're all coming to it at about the same time, thanks to some work by some uh, people who've been scanning the videos of the Boston Marathon bombing. There are other issues as well. But the first thing that I want to say is this, and I'm just going to spill it out, okay? Right now, you are seeing something happen where there are elements of our government that are at odds with each other, and we're at a very dangerous crossroads, okay? There are factions in the government that are ready to try to seize power, and it's going to get very ugly, okay? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't certain things going on now. But uh, one of the one of the things that have happened in the last few days, and I don't, not just the Boston thing, you'll notice the gold took a big dip. The Federal Reserve did that, attacked the gold by dropping a whole bunch of uh, paper gold uh, certificates, or however they do their their trading. Uh, to lower the price, to make it look like gold, a bunch of gold had been dropped on the market when it actually it hadn't. The, the purpose of that was, of course, to make gold not as, as attractive as, a, of, as an investment. Sorry, <laughs> I haven't had much sleep lately. Um, but there's more to it than that, and I want to point this out to you. Remember, Texas and some other states, Texas being the first one, Rick Perry, demanded their gold back from the Federal Reserve when it was at, you know, sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars an ounce. And now, of course, the price of gold has dropped. In other words, trying to make people not as interested in keeping it. But the point is that this was done not just as an act for against individuals. This was an act done against state governments. Okay, do you understand the significance of that? The Federal Reserve is a private entity pretending to be part of the federal government, but backed by the power of the federal government telling the states no you're not going to get your gold back do you see what's happening here okay that's the first thing i wanted to bring that up because i didn't want to forget it that is also part of what's going on with this boston marathon bombing thing this was in fact a false flag some of you that i sent this information out to i came up with an emergency video a little while ago showing that uh, alex jones is infowars one of his investigators Paul Watson, who's actually a British citizen, was scanning, did a, an excellent job on scanning the videos and the, the the photographs that are on 4chan. These are all the things that are downloaded about, for instance, when I went to the uh, Mardi Gras in uh, Galveston, Texas, you know, people like me will download this these videos to the net. Well, he and his team scoured these pictures and found the black ops people that are, were there. Now, why is that significant? Because they denied that there was a bomb drill in process, but that we have witnesses now who said that they were told that there was a bomb drill in process in, in Boston, uh, that there were loudspeaker messages to not be al alarmed by the people carrying backpacks, etc. cetera. Uh, the university uh, coach that was there is, is one of the examples of that, but there are even more now. Uh, the important thing to understand here is, is that if it hadn't been for people downloading their pictures to 4chan, we wouldn't have this information, okay? Um, the government denied that there was a drill. A drill is always a cover-up for a false flag. The reason being that if the operatives get caught, if their patsy gets caught, they can say, well, it's just part of a drill. It's not for real. Well, now, with these pictures and with all of the evidence that we have, we know, in fact, not only was it a drill to cover the black op, but that our government, or at least rogue forces of it, or the shadow government, however, you know, these are government operatives that pulled this thing off, that killed Americans, just like they have in so many other instances, okay? This is a very critical time because there's another possibility to this Boston thing.
And it goes back to what I was saying at the very beginning. That there are forces at odds with each other in the government. We saw that play out with Petraeus and the CIA. Okay, We saw it with the, with the relief of general officers, a, a, about a dozen of them now, who have butted up against the, the, the White House. So there are things happening, and you have to, and I, yes, I, I am a little stressed here because I realize the implications of this. I've seen these kinds of things happen in third world countries where there was a coup, okay? We're mounting up to that. There is a war that's going on inside our government, and it's going to spill out into the general population. They're trying to cover their tracks. What was the, personal, the, the purpose, the reason for the Boston uh, Marathon bombing? Was it to cover up? Was it to divert our, our attention? For instance, divert our attention away from the fact that Bush and Obama are being indicted by a bipartisan committee uh, for war crimes and that this was coming out? Uh, was it to divert our attention from the dollar problem? Was it to divert our attention from this you know, difficulty going on in the government? Or, and this is a real possibility, was it an act against one part of the government by another. And I know that doesn't sound like it would make much sense right now, but you'd have to understand how these things are played out. The key to all of this was today. When when this information on this black operation, this drill in progress, which was denied by all sorts of government people, when this information came out and the pictures of the operatives came out and the Patsy and all of these other things, okay, the FBI and, and the police were just about ready to bring this right-wing suspect out and, and, and take him to a judge at the, at the Boston courthouse. The media got a hold of it and stated that they had made an arrest, okay? But at the same time, our information came out on this black ops with the pictures and the videos and the, the operatives and all that. And the government said, oh my gosh, you know, they got us. So they shut down the information on the suspect. They turned around their story and said, no, they didn't arrest anybody. The Boston courthouse was closed because they said it, well, there was a danger there. The danger was they were going to get, you know, revealed. And so you've seen this backtrack today on, oh, we've got the suspect. Now we don't. It was going to be a right-wing extremist helped by al-Qaeda. That's exactly how this thing was going to play out. And they got caught in the middle of it. Now, I've already said in the previous video, go to Infowars.com if you like. You can see the pictures that have been submitted there. Why the Infowars? Well, because it was primarily their investigators that broke this with the help of independents who were sending them the, the, the intelligence information. But they were the best ones for this. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, this is really, this is crazy stuff. Uh, I'm a little old to be doing this kind of thing now. You know, in my younger days, it wasn't so tough. Now it's a little more difficult because, you know, I, I see the big picture now. The people that are bringing this information out are endangering their lives. Okay? Bottom line, people that are bringing this information out are putting their lives on the line to show you what's happening and how dangerous of a situation it is. Okay? Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to try to come back with some particulars. Uh, so pardon me while I have a little break here. Uh, I'll do something to make the transition a little bit easier to handle. Okay. All right. All right. I know that was a little strange having it just stop and then have me walk in, but I wanted to, you know, continue on here. Um, the fact that this information was avail available on 4 4chan and that the information was available from videos on site, you know, the, they're saying that the Lord and Taylor, I think, that they identified the suspect on the Lord and Taylor um, camera. Understand that just like 9-11, you know, there are security cameras that got this information, okay? But the government steered us into looking at specific things. So for untrained people, you get, you get your attention trained on those things that really are innocuous that don't mean anything and you ignore the obvious the best way to hide something is to put it in plain sight okay so what I'm saying is that the government all along 
all right, had access to these same videos. Remember how they came out? The FBI said, oh, wow, there's just got to be somebody out there who knows something about this. Oh, public, give us your pictures and, and your videos. You know, help us find these people. They already had the videos. They already had the information. But they're asking you for it to hide it from, in, from you in plain sight. Okay, that's real, real obvious. Pretend like they don't have the information when it was out there. Okay, so the fact of the matter is that they're playing a PSYOP game with you. And, and you know, the, 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 the problem with the FBI, and, and there's Judge Napolitano talked about this some time ago. Um, the FBI has actually overstepped its authority because, well, Congress has helped it to do that. But where am I going with that? Um, the entire FBI isn't it, it, to blame here or a part of it. There is a core operation, okay, that always shows up at these mass shootings, at bombings, etc., that have the requirement, it's a very small unit, but they have the requirement to cover up the government's tracks and to make these things look other than what they are. You know, no DARPA involved, no drugs, the lone wolf scenario, no, no type of black operation. They always, and that's what they were going to do here. I, this Patsy, I'm sure, he's probably dead now. They probably hauled him out of that courthouse and probably took him out somewhere and, you know, put a bullet in his head and dumped him somewhere because they need to cover their tracks, and they'll do that. Okay, that's the kind of people we're, we're working with here. But with these other things going on in the government, like I said, this could this could, you know, explode into something a lot worse. Especially now, I mean, uh, mainstream media, you know, pulling back and saying, "Hey, you know, you said you had this guy, now you say you don't. What gives?" You know, <laughs> remember what I said about the government? Government, you know, in one of my videos here, I said they're incompetent, or they're liars and deceivers, or all of the above. Okay, so that's another aspect of what's going on here that I wanted to cover. Um, so the bottom line is at this point in time, the Boston Marathon bombing was a false flag conducted by elements of our government. Not everybody in the government's bad, but elements of our government who are seeking power or control over either each other or particularly us. Okay. Um, to lock down our people in a police state, all right? That's what this was all about. And hopefully, with us being able to blow this operation over, to, to uncover it, that it's at least going to slow them down. But make no mistake about it, that is the end game, all right? I wish I could give you the particulars. Unfortunately, I don't have the technical uh, equipment to do what so many other people can do. So that's why I'm telling you to go to InfoWars.com. And yes, Alex, he gets, you know, pretty stressed at times. I mean, look at me right now. Because, you know, I can see the big picture about what's happening here and the danger we're all in. All right? And, and I think you know that I've, I've seen this from the beginning. But right now, with that black operation, that false flag you know, being revealed the way it has been, people will take desperate actions to make sure that, you know, what they've done isn't going to come back on them. So we're all in a lot of danger right now. All right, so I'll leave it at that for right now. I'll probably do another one of these a little later. Um, like I said, I, I wish I had the ability to give you all this on screen so you could see everything that's happening. But I think now with the information that you have, you can go out and look for it on your own. The number one key at this point in time is Infowars.com. Those guys have done a fantastic job. Um, I think also C. Green 34 that I've mentioned before, he keeps his eyes open. He's, I don't think, he, well, he's not militarily trained. He doesn't have investigative people working for him that I, I'm aware of. But from what I've been able to gather from him, he's very good. So Sea Green 34 would be another place to go, but first, Infowars.com. Okay, and another little piece of information I forgot to bring up. Of course, you probably know this now. Uh, a senator and the President Obama, supposedly, the senator I'm sure, received letters with ricine on them, uh, which is, you know, a, a poison. Um, if you think back to 
the situation after 9-11, anthrax was released, and they found out after, you know, investigating it, they didn't want to, but finally it came out, it came from the, from the bioweapons lab at Fort Detrick, Maryland, the anthrax did. Uh, I'm not saying that the ricine came from there, but I think it's a little odd that we've had this, this situation with North Korea, the situation with the Boston Marathon, uh, the Second Amendment, they're trying to, you know, repeal that. Uh, they're going after the Bill of Rights, so they have this false flag in Boston and then this ricine showing up at, at, in Washington, D.C. So it's a follow-up. All of this is not by accident. These are planned events to try to get you willing to submit to government authority. Okay? They can't protect you. Only you can protect you. The cops aren't going to be there when somebody's breaking through your door. Okay? That's the important thing. All right, I, I'm sorry, I just had to bring that up real quick. Another update here uh, that uh, CNBC is now saying uh, that they're going to be quiet because they don't want to disrupt the investigation. So that's how they're going to try to cover up this thing, okay? They were gonna, they were gonna bring this suspect out. They got caught in the in the background in, in the, the black operation, the false flag, and so, and make no mistake about it, the authorities went to the media and said, "We've got this guy," and then they backed off. Understand that the media, especially CNN and CNBC, and some of those, are CIA fronts. They control the media. The FCC, which grants the licenses and all that, is is controlled by the CIA. So. In other words, what am I saying here? They're just going to say, oh, we're going to be quiet because we don't want to interfere with the investigation. No, they should investigate this totally, totally because of what's happened today. And everybody should call up all of these people, your congressmen, your senators, call the White House, call the media and say, look, you know, it's the media's responsibility under the First Amendment to give us good information. All right, let's straighten this thing out ourselves. Be damned with national security. It doesn't exist at this point. National security is for us, okay? <laughs> Am I getting compassioned here? This is, this is the fallback position. They got caught, and now they're going to say they're not going to look into it anymore because they might interfere with the investigation. No, 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 no. The feds and the police came out and said, we have a suspect. And then when this thing came out, they tried to retract it because they knew they got caught. No, the reporters, the journalists should be out there saying, this isn't making any sense, guys. You need to fix this. You need to open up. You need to let us know what's going on here because we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to tell you guys in the federal government, okay, we're going to flood this information on these operatives out everywhere, okay? You liars and deceivers, you demons, killing Americans for your own purposes. Well, killing anybody. You know, the drone strikes where you kill one, you know, 200 people to get one supposed operative. You guys are just bloodthirsty goons. We're going to spread this information out everywhere. People will see it. And if the Americans don't want to see it and this thing falls apart, American people, this is going to be your fault. It's your fault. If you're going to stay asleep and let these murderous criminals get away with this, then what I said about not worrying about saving the United States is going to hold true. This place just needs to be firebombed because we're not worth it. God help us. You know, I also have to tell you real quick, you know, they'll try to say now that their uh, operatives were there that they had a lot of people there more than usual to try to protect from this, this type of a thing. What does that tell you? It tells you they can't protect you. If they go with that scenario that all those guys were there, all those people were there to, to, to offer security, does that show you that government can't secure you, that they cannot protect you? And they'll say, oh, well, you know, that's playing into the hands of the, our enemies. You know, that's part of the terrorist plot to show that the government can't protect you. No, the government is the terrorist, okay? That's what's going on here. And they're, they're, they just proved, no matter what they say on this thing, they proved that they can't do what they say they can do. Not without taking all your rights away or killing you, all right? Okay, just a quick little blurb right there. I hope that made sense.